Fellas. Yeah. I mean, uh, I want to say I've never seen anyone on the first day. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think I made the wrong choice. Please be good, please be good. Drop it in front of my plate and make sure it's good. And the front one. Fantastic, thank you. So I've got the new potatoes and a duck breast. Oh, please, thank you. <laughs> wow, to be fair, I think I actually have made the wrong choice. Those burgers look absolutely insane. I think I'm gonna have to get a, a fry off you there, Timothy. <laughs> Bienvenue Paris. So I'm pretty sure that means welcome to Paris. Yes team, I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I've actually just landed in Paris and I'm only here for 36 hours. So I thought, why not bring you guys along this little adventure with me? Staying at this glorious place called the Hoxton Hotel here in Paris. And I've never stayed here before, but my room is huge. So before I show you guys a room tour, I thought I'd just tell, explain to you what I'm kind of doing here. So. The brand Rod and Gun have kindly invited me on this press trip because they've just launched, uh, well, they're just about to launch their collection between Gilbert and Rod and Gun, and it's currently the Rugby World Cup. So I am hoping, and I think there should be some New Zealand players uh, who we're going to be meeting tonight, which will be super interesting, exciting, because 
basically, if you don't, guys don't know, rod and gun originate from New Zealand. So I have a weird feeling that there should be some New Zealand uh, famous rugby players there this evening. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest, biggest rugby fan. However, I do support England, obviously, and I do watch them when they're ever on. I won't really watch New Zealand too much, although I, I still think it'll be pretty epic to see some of their team today. So obviously Gilbert are a rugby, rugby brand and they've collaborated with Rod and Gun to bring this new collection. So we're out here to sp promote that and go and meet some of the team. And obviously, as I said, they're a New Zealand brand, so it makes sense. I have a few outfits from them and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing later on because some of their stuff and this collection is so, so nice. If you guys don't know by now who Rod and Gun are, I'd be shocked because I wear it quite a lot in my, um, in my content and I love their style. So very good quality and just very nice clothing. We've just checked in, it's coming up to 10 to 4 and I'm a little bit tired, I'm trying to get a nap in before we head out and I'll show you guys the room quickly as well because you've got to do the obligatory room tour, right? So this is like the corner, I've got the desk here, I've got a lovely bed here which is awesome and then TV on the wall and quickly before I show you anything else, the view from here is so sick because it's like proper Parisian vibes. Like that is just glorious, isn't it? So this is the Hoxton, it's super nice. But I'm a bit annoyed I can't open these windows actually. I'd love to, but hey ho. Um, I've already unpacked, even though I'm here for such a short amount of time, I do like unpacking all my stuff. It just makes me feel like I know exactly what I've got. So that thing with this wardrobe is just super sick. And I've got some shoes, my running shoes, if I go for a run. And then you've got this nice chair here, which I've obviously made the clothing chair, which everyone seems to have always. And this is an unbelievable mirror. I absolutely love it. I kind of want it, if I'm honest. That's, that, that's stuck. And then you've got the bathroom in here. Super a nice big shower, which is absolutely insane. And then, yeah, so super, super nice. So it's coming up to quarter by six and we are heading to the evening event. I think it's called La Grafea. I may be completely wrong there, so sorry if I've absolutely butchered that terminology. But we're actually taking a walk because it's such a nice evening and we thought, yeah, it's never worth driving because we're so close to the venue. So we're heading there now and this is like walking down just by the hotel, typical Parisian style streets and everything, which is lovely. So yeah, this is my outfit. I've got head to toe rodding gun, although the shoes are from Fairfax and Favour. But yeah, this is basically the whole look. So what I'll do is I'll pop all the links to this in the description box below. So if you guys are interested, then you can check it out. No. <laughs> What's your name? Introduce yourself. Tommy fucking Brady. <laughs> Good morning team. So it's about 11 a.m. I've had breakfast. I'm now heading off to a thrift and vintage store called The Kilo Shop. Now yesterday I spoke to a friend and he's been here a ton of times and he said yesterday he picked up a blazer, two ties, excuse that light, it's very bright, and two t-shirts for 30 euros and the fit was insane apparently. So I'm gonna go check it out because I've never been. Um, if you know, Paris is predominantly known for lots of thrift shops and vintage kind of pieces. So I'm really excited to go check it out. As you can see, I'm just outside the store. What I'll do is I'll put the location right here as well. So if you guys are interested in some thrift shopping, which is apparently one of the best ones in Paris, I'm not 
gonna lie, that trip to the kilo shop was a little bit disappointing for me. I mean, there were some really good bits there. However, I just thought in my head, do I actually need anything? Am I trying to do a big clear out at home? And the answer was yes. So I don't need anything. And the best thing to do is not just pick up things for the sake of the price, because then you'll just end up throwing it into your wardrobe and not actually using it. So yeah, good decision not to actually get anything. But having said that, really, really good store. I would thoroughly recommend going in to check it out if you want some vintage pieces. So yeah, nine out of 10. Right now I'm buying Notre Dame and some of the cool iconic buildings behind me. I'm just literally, Notre Dame is on the river. I'm actually gonna make my way on a Bor uh, Boris bike, a Uber bike or a line bike over to the Eiffel Tower because there's a coffee shop I love going to whenever I'm here. So I'm gonna go check it out and just chill and watch the world go by for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll head back to the hotel and then I'll get the Eurostar back. But I just love wandering around the city. It's just so sick. <laughs> This is the old Love Lot Bridge, or the Padlock Bridge, they called it. Rumour has it they had to take down all the padlocks to replace it with plastic glass. In 200 metres, slide left onto Rue des Saints Peyra. Fun fact. Don't leave it until less than an hour to get to Garden Nord because I tried to put, I tried to get there on an Uber in an Uber store, but I'm pretty sure they just saw <laughs> me. Um, tried to get there in an Uber, but it cancelled me three times. So now I'm sweating my ass off with this case to get to the station. I'm back from Paris and I had such an incredible 36 hours. It went by in a blink of an eye, but I think all good things usually do. So I'm back and I am currently still living out of boxes. I think I was pretty foolish to go to Verbier and Berlin and now Paris, all within the space of like two weeks. But that's life. And now Carmen, my girlfriend, is literally giving it to me every five seconds to my ear off. Like, when are we gonna get rid of this? When are we gonna get rid of this? So. Yeah, in the next video, I will probably be updating you guys on a house vlog and video because I really want to show you guys this new place and I think you're going to be really exciting and watch me kind of transform it because we've got so many ideas of what we're going to do and change. So yeah, but guys, thank you for joining me on this video. Uh, really appreciate you tuning in and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and if you haven't as well, or if you have enjoyed this video, please like it below and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.